What's, uh, what's not staying fresh is these appraisers in the industry. They, they actually are fresh, like bad fresh. You know, like yeah, there you go. My, kid, my mom used to call them like you're fresh. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're not good. They're and not good. we did a podcast on this over a year ago. All right. It was in June of 2021. We were referencing a Housing Wire article Ooh, at the I time. I almost wore that same shirt. That would have been that fun. That would have been crazy. So anyway. the Housing Wire article that we referenced was, is the appraisal process colorblind? We talked, we covered a story back then about, uh, and there was a, really a couple that You really went had, hard on. I went hard on appraisers. Yes. There was this YouTube video or, or that, you know, for the Real World podcast, did hundreds of comments. We ended up having a follow-up Real World episode because that link got posted into an, a, a private Facebook yep. group. And we had an appraiser yep. come on. Ooh, I really... I enjoy him. Um, yeah. Warren Sumner. I've mm -hmm. actually gotten to know him a little bit after that because I've seen him at conferences. I say hello. Very nice guy. He was, he was great when we did the follow up. Yes. But appraisers were hammering us in the comments. Hammering them. And I'm well, hammering you. Yeah, hammering me. And I'm yeah. going to stick to what I said then. The appraisal process is an absolute joke in this country. When you talk to banks right now that are maybe a mortgage bank, I'm thinking of Tomo, hello Tomo. We hello, love Tomo. Tomo. We do love Tomo. When I when I think about what Greg Schwartz says about the hardest thing about starting a bank, the, the number one complaint he gets from agents on you know what they would do to align with a loan officer or a mortgage originator or whatever you want to call it is fix the appraisal process. Yes. The appraisal process is a mess. We're relying on one person's opinion, literally a human being's yep. opinion of value, yep. not the market. And listen. I get blasted all the time when I say this about appraisers. I'm sure I will right now in the comments. But if hey, if, if you're in agreement with me, hit the thumbs up on, on YouTube if you agree with that. I think that the process is complete. It can be very biased. And so there's a new yes. report now. All right. So we've got a New York Post. Uh, I'm sorry, New York Times article. Mm -hmm. And these stories are everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, new York Times. Home appraised with a black owner, $472,000. With a white owner, $750,000. Thousand and that's not a mistake. I mean, that's huge. There's absolutely no dollars. Science. That's like three hundred thousand no, dollar difference. No appraiser education is going to be three hundred thousand dollars off. I Insane. Mean, you've got to be first of all to have two appraisals that are three hundred thousand dollars apart. Somebody's a moron. Yeah, that's something's sure. going on. Nathan Connolly and his wife uh, Shani Mott say an appraisal company undervalued their home based on their race. The couple has filed a lawsuit in Maryland. So this story. I remember this story. We the one that we covered was was not this particular story, but there was many Very of them. Very similar, yes. So this was from last summer. Nathan Connolly and his wife uh, Shani Mott they welcomed an appraiser into their home. It was in Baltimore, hoping to take advantage of these historically low rates. So they were looking to just refinance. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. They they had improved their house. Five thousand dollar tankless water heater. Okay, all that fun you know, stuff. Th might, yeah, thirty five thousand dollars in other renovations. Those could really depend on what they were. Could bump it up. And so they thought it was worth much more than 450000 They paid for it in 2017, which just based off of buying in 2017 last summer. You're well over 25% increase without even doing anything. Without doing anything. Yeah. So there you go there. Uh, so 2020 valuations, a Maryland appraisal company put the home's value at the $472,000. In turn, Loan Depot, a mortgage lender, denied the couple a refinance loan. Mm -hmm. Dr. Connolly said... He knew why he and his wife and his three children aged 15, 12, and nine are black. That, so he is at John Hopkins University. He's a professor there, yep. And he takes now uh, another crack at the appraisal. Uh, who did they do the second appraisal with? Uh, Rocket. Rocket. It was so a company they, so that was affiliated with Rocket Mortgage. So a new appraiser comes out, Rocket. He has a colleague of his yes. from John Hopkins. Well, first he completely waters down his entire house, takes all of his family photos yeah. down, does anything and everything that would make one believe that a black family lived there. And then they have their his colleague mm -hmm. go in who was white. Yep, another professor at Johns Hopkins, yep. And the light went off again. They get the second appraisal. Yes. For $750,000. That's I insane. Mean, it's crazy insane. And when this whole thing blew up last time we, we covered this, one of these stories, appraisers were like, you know, that, that's such a rare case. These stories keep popping up. They're yes. everywhere. They're like in almost every state. And this is blatant. I them. mean, this is, this is Super blatant. nuts. Yeah. And it's, and it's also based, you know, 
a lot of times these appraisals, and this is where I have a big issue with it. If you go and hire an appraiser right now, and mm -hmm. you call them, well, what's the use? Well, what does it matter? You know, if it's, oh, well, if, if it's just for you, you know, for your draw, I'll get right up on any, any number you want, basically. Right. But if this is for a bank, then that's a yeah. different story. The yeah. Or is client. it like for a divorce? So you're looking or, to like buy Divorce. Or is it like, like or, yeah. who's going to be checking my appraisal is basically what they say. Right. And so it can be, they can be very flawed. I'm not a fan of it. I want the market to dictate terms. Yes. You, you will see, I believe, massive disruption in this industry. Like I said before, we haven't seen it completely. We've seen these desktop appraisals, which granted, I think, you know, depending on the location, like I said last time, those can be really good. Yeah, well, I haven't got seen a, them in a while, though. If you've got a development in, like I said before, in the south, say mm -hmm. Florida, where you've got 750 homes and there's four floor plans and you've got just consistent comps, the desktop appraisal there can be fine. Yes. You don't really need to get, they're all the same. Right. You're in the northeast or somewhere where everything's different. One house is different from the other. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work as, as well. Uh, but you saying you haven't seen desktop appraisals? I haven't seen one in a while. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I would say at least, at, I feel like at least almost six months, mm -hmm. maybe a year. Yeah. Yeah. And it, again, regularly, it's not work I everywhere. should say. Regularly. I'd love to, by the way, we did the Ricky Carruth debate on yeah. Bam. You know, if if you remember that debate I mean, in the comments, do you remember that debate here on terrible. Bam? Are you subscribed? Because we're going to be doing more debates. And if any appraiser wants to debate me on this topic, that the appraisal industry is a complete waste of time oh is that the purpose of this that that was the no of this but i one. just i'm of just the real word that, it was to i'm just throwing that out there coax if, out a fight it, not a fight just a debate just a good healthy debate i just believe it's the most useless position in our industry we need it unfortunately for the banks i think the banks yeah. will, might even you know they need to have something but there's smart banks out there hello tomo that want to disrupt that industry and it sounds like they are yeah yeah they're trying to yeah they, and they've actually uh while we're here in dallas yeah they're going to be announcing something about appraisals i i'm i'm so i'm aware and i'm excited for them kind of just leaking that out a little bit well they'll but will they announce it after our... announcing it wednesday and this go this goes this out Tuesday. Is, yeah, yeah. Well, you guys better pay attention on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah pay attention. If you're Make sure at you the show up. Don't get too drunk Tuesday night. Show no. up on Wednesday. If you're at the Bam Bash, you might be Tuesday night. Tuesday night is at the is yeah. the Bam Bash. Are you ready for it? So what's what's your thoughts? So wrap this up. Bracket or not? I mean, this is a clear racket. It's a total racket. This is it's awful. It's it is awful and it's sad and and it's and it's almost really unfortunate that again, I mean, he's got children that he's having to explain this to too, and it's just I feel like it's. It's now, awful. Now they're going, they just filed the lawsuit last week. So Loan Depot and 2020 Valuations, obviously named as defendants in the lawsuit. Yeah. They're going to have their opportunity to defend themselves. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they, you know, they'll probably both settle is, is my prediction. Yeah. I they'll, wonder what will happen to that appraiser and, too. And then the appraiser should <laughs> lose their license. Yeah, for sure. The one that came in at, you know, whatever. 450, yeah. And I don't know. I mean, maybe, I don't know what the market is, but I mean, Zillow had it up 42% in the fa past five years. Yeah. So, you know, your 25% is probably right on as, as you know, of last summer for sure. Well, again, I mean, they've done improvements. So, I, again, I, I obviously haven't been into it, but I'm just without even knowing the neighborhood or what's going on, you know that it's increased 25%, um, even just in the last two years. So, well. Here's a stat that's going to blow your mind about appraisal appraisers. More than 97% of home appraisers are white according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And since the summer of 2020, when conversations on race and discrimination in America rose to the forefront after mm -hmm. uh, George Floyd, mm -hmm. dozens of black homeowners have alleged discrimination in home valuations that they have received. I mean, mostly, I've never met a an appraiser who was not a white dude. Well, I mean, I've met white women. I actually, I have, I have, you're right. Yeah, I there's have. an agent in, in our town that has, her, her mom is an appraiser. Yeah. Yeah. And but yeah, most of them are white dudes living in the basements of their parents' house. Really? I'm just saying. You're just using my line. I am. You're stealing I, that. From I did. Me. I like it. All right. It total makes me happy. total racket. I think appraisers are a racket. Love to debate any one of you on a live debate on the BAM channel on what I think is going to happen, which is your industry being completely disrupted and well I, maybe someone out. wants maybe maybe it's not a debate though maybe it's them agreeing and maybe having they might some agree. and having I mean, some sort of resolution for this where like where how can they help make their you know their their the, profession here was, here was warren's comment because warren put this into that private 
group last time. This was his comment last time I said this. And we we had that whole follow-up show. We went he back and forth. He was a lovely was man. He was lovely. I like watching your show normally, but it's painfully obvious you guys have been distorted and biased view of the appraisal industry. And he's also a realtor and an appraiser. I'm a realtor, mm-hmm. but started as an appraiser in 1998. I still actively appraise today. I've read all of these articles on racial discrimination in the appraisal process. They all have a common thread in that we get plenty of uh, anecdotes of ra- racial bias, but like you say, um, like you say, there are no facts to back it up. This this one here is factual. I mean, I, so I don't know, I, I don't know where that is. Uh, anyways, we can link that. Let's link that video up if people want to go dig into those comments. Uh, but leave your comment here. What do you think about this situation and the appraisal industry as a whole? Hey guys, appreciate you checking out this episode of the Real Word. If you want the full episode, go over to the Broke Agent YouTube. That's where we're hosting the full podcast. If you want to continue to see the segments broken out and the short clips, stay right here on the Real Word YouTube.